Alright, so today we're going to show you how to set up a meeting with Google Meet. So, uh, if you're familiar with your deped.gov.ph account, many of us may think that this is only an email. But unknowingly, this account is actually a Gmail account. And not only that, it allows you access to any uh, many other apps under Google. That includes YouTube. You can log in using your deped.gov.ph account using uh, if you log in through YouTube through uh, Google Forms, Google Meet, etc. So we will also be using your deped.gov.ph account to set up a meeting. Uh, just to illustrate to you, uh, let's try to sign in to our account. So if you are here in your browser, if you go to google.com and go to sign in, you will notice that uh, if you have already logged in before, uh, your accounts may be saved here. So there, there are two accounts. I have two Google accounts. I have my personal account and then my deped.gov.ph account. So we'll try to use our deped account because this is, uh, you know, a premium version of Google. So let's try to log in using our password. All right. So if you log in, you will know that you are logged in. If you see this uh, avatar here, usually the first letter of your name and then if you try to click on these little squares here, see the, those little squares. Those are the. If you click on that, you will be you will see all the different apps under Google. Okay, so that even includes YouTube here, right? Maps, Forms, Earth, uh, so much for you to explore. You can you can explore that later on. But if you wanted to set up a meeting, which will happen the next day or the uh, the next week. Um, I would suggest that you use the Google Calendar. So this is the Google Calendar. If you click on that, that will bring you to this calendar here. Uh, you can place all your schedules here and sync it with your uh, Google Calendar in your cell phone because this will help you get organized. Today is July 7. So you see it's encircled here. So we want to schedule uh, not just next week, but let's just... If you want to go to next week, so this is Tuesday. Uh, that will be July 14. Okay. So if you want to set it at 1 p.m., all you have to do is to click on the area with 1 p.m. 1 p.m. is here because you see here it's 1 p.m. This is this is the time. So this is the date. So let's place it here. All right. So at exactly July 14, 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, you can change the range to say for example the meeting is up to 5 p.m which will be around four hours you can add a google meet video comp conferencing here so you can schedule and this is now the link so you can share this link to uh to your participants so you can highlight this one and then save it to a notepad or a sticky note if you like so this will be your link uh, when you give this link to your friends, tell them to paste it in the URL bar and automatically in the scheduled time, they can join. Uh, you can also have an option to add a live stream here. So try to look, it says add live stream. Uh, a live stream is a link wherein those who can, who wanted to view the meeting, but, uh, you know, just to see the progress of the meeting without uh, the capability to interact, to chat or to to make comments or suggestions uh, you know you can do a live stream so there will be others who can watch so you can save that one place it on the live stream link or which you can provide to those people you want to watch your meeting all right so another option is to add some guests so you can add guests here and you can type in their email address say for example you type their email address let's say um uh that's my name so i can i can invite my personal account so this is my personal account so so it says here find a time to meet click see guests available to easily compare schedules and find a free time for all got it okay so you can add and you can add more okay so one by one you can add and those people who will uh will be added here will receive an email informing them regarding uh the meeting scheduled on this day july 14 1 to 5 pm 
And then you can save. Then, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? Say send. Okay. And then the following guests are from outside your organization. Are you sure you would like to invite them? Uh, this is because we are using a deped.gov.ph account, meaning uh, this is exclusive for deped, but we can actually invite them. So invite external guests and it's scheduled there. So during the time, uh, if that time comes on July 14, all they have to do is to click on this link. All right, just to show you. Um, if you have a group chat, you can give the link to them and then they can open a tab like this. Go to the URL bar and then erase all the writings there and then replace it with the code. And then when they do that, they hit enter and then they'll be routed to this. Um, this is the, it's like the gate before you enter the meeting. So please allow your browser to access your microphone and your camera. And then you can say, okay, let's just close the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And close, I'll turn off the microphone. Okay. This is very important. When you join a Google meet, please turn off your camera and your microphone before you enter because you might be disturbing others so join now and then you'll be joining their meeting okay so wait for someone to let you in and then um you know what to do during the actual meeting we'll have another video for that but for the organizers this is how you set up your meeting and i hope this helps uh, for all the school leaders there teachers who wanted to set up a meeting with their students who are available online uh, this is how you set it thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share this to all the teachers who needs this thank you